the Father. Jesus suffered to purchase your physical healing. So, uh, bro, what's your name? And what was you healed of? How long you had a problem? What was you healed of? Oh, my name is Mike, and I have had severe arthritis in my back. Um, I had partial feeling in my leg because of that, and a sharp pain running from my spine to my back. Wait a minute, I think I was entertained by your healing. Wasn't I entertained by your healing because... <laughs> what did you say while, while, while Jesus was healing you? felt like something had shrunk, and I said, I'm not going to get any shorter, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Look at somebody and say, don't worry. don't worry, Jesus will not make you shorter, <laughs> unless you want to be. <laughs> So Isaiah says that in the 53 it says, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Griefs and sorrows has to do with pain and disease. In other words, he has lifted off your disease and has taken your pain away. Matthew was referring to that in Matthew 8, 17 where he says, Jesus has taken upon himself your sickness and your disease. Now you may say, Pastor Kim, I know this. Look, I got to give God something to confirm. How's this? She slipped up here so I could have a sister to, to testify. I appreciate that. Just what did Jesus do? My name is Jasmine, and I didn't have any broken bones or anything, but I was really spiritually broke and really, really, really depressed. And he healed me from it. Like, I don't know what happened, but I got up, and everything is just so much better. I went home telling everybody what happened. Like, oh, 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 oh. I Now, one, one way, you got to stay right here, because I'm not done, but I got to show my scripture, because, stay right here. Turn to Matthew. Look at somebody say, he ain't going to be long, but he does want to show you something in the world. Because it has something to do with what she said. It's real important, Matthew 4. And Jesus went about all Galilee, it's verse 23. Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news concerning the kingdom, the good news concerning the domain of the king, and healing all kinds of sickness. And Jesus was healing all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went out throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments. The Greek word here for torments is pains. Those that were demon possessed, dino nitsia. In other words, there's sometimes when a germ, an evil life, an evil spirit will attack your body and and give it disease, feed the disease. And then Jesus said, In my name you drive out evil spirits, expel demons. The evil spirit leaves. The life of the disease is gone. The disease dies, and then God ministers healing. And then it says, my translation here says epileptics, but in the Greek it's moonstruck. Some King James Version says lunatics, but it's really lun, luna, luna, moonstruck. Now, what is this a reference to? Hear me, hear me carefully. Okay, I probably should say this, because you need to understand that in the gifts of healing's ministry, look at somebody saying, in the gifts of healing's ministry, each healing is a gift. And Jesus is the healer. And when it says all kinds of diseases, sometimes Jesus, when he releases the gift of healing, he releases the gift of healing for different diseases. In other words, there's a gift of healing for bone diseases. You can have a problem with your bones, and your bones can be healed by Jesus. There's a gift of healing for blood diseases. Jesus can heal your blood. 
Amen. Yes. Your leukemia can disappear. Yes. Your high blood pressure can go down normal. Amen. Amen. You got thick blood and he can fit it for you. Amen. You can have the AIDS virus and Jesus can destroy it. Then there are organ diseases. I'll never forget a woman. I can't remember if she's an alcoholic or drug. I think alcohol is a drug classification, like it's a really good matter. She had a large liver. They gave her nine months to live. Her count was like, oh, I don't know, 300, 400. It was a large. And so when God healed her, <laughs> the liver shrunk in her hand. This was on a Sunday. She went back to the doctor. It was either Wednesday or Thursday. Everybody say organ diseases. Organ diseases. Look at somebody say, God wants to heal your organs. And her count, her count was between 30 and 45. Look at somebody say, she was normal. So God wants to heal your organs. Look at somebody say, God wants to heal your pancreas. Look at somebody say, God wants to heal your kidneys. I said, <laughs> we've seen God give people brand new kidneys. They go back to the doctor and don't need any more diagnosis. <laughs> then there's healing for your glands. Come on now. It's a separate gift. Then it says they have paralysis. There's a gift of healing for paralysis. Yes, yes, amen. Uh, I was in Lake Placid, New York. A woman came up. She had no eardrum. God gave her an eardrum and she was able to hear perfectly. Amen. Oh, okay. Anyway, my point being that there's different gifts of healings. This is why you'll see somebody who, like, is in ministry, certain diseases will get healed under their ministry because they have the gift of healing for certain diseases, for cancer, for sugar diabetes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. For arthritis. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. So if a person can have any believer in Jesus, say, filled the Holy Spirit, obey in Jesus, God's called you to do it. He can give you that grace. Look at somebody said, the grace works on you. The grace works in you. And the grace works through you. Look at somebody say, ain't got nothing to do with the vessel. It's just the calling and the gift. Look at somebody say, it's all about Jesus. Okay, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> what was your name? What was your problem? What did Jesus do for you? Antonio. Man, you got a good name. Uh, I pulled my back out uh, two weeks ago uh, at Brother Reuben's work. And uh, for two weeks, my wife and the pastor, you know, they would give me stuff. I uh, went to the chiropractor twice. Uh, they said that they can't come up with a slip disc or a foot muscle or a fracture. Uh, I wasn't able to lift my leg, and whenever I got out of bed, I would go over to my leg. Um, just everything, I had to move slow. And uh, yesterday, he prayed for me, and I was able to do rocking chairs and everything. You go praise the Lord. Now, hear me carefully. Listen to me carefully. I'm like, look at somebody and say, you fix and get some help right about now. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in uh, Southern Missouri. I'm in a minister's meeting. A woman is brought to me who had lost sight in one of her eyes. Hear me carefully. Sometimes I don't like to pray for people at the altar. I like to do an interview because it give me an interview. Because one of the things Jesus taught me about healing is sometimes you got to find the cause to find the cure. Amen. Sometimes you got to do proper diagnosis to bring deliverance right. to the person to set them free from the disease. Amen. 
So in my interview.